Hey everybody, it's Chris with Simple Tech, uh, helping you take the stress out of IT. Hey, so this week we're gonna kinda start delving into some other systems. So right now we're gonna jump into a little bit about iPhone. Um, we'll have some Windows stuff coming up soon, some iPad stuff coming up soon. So please make sure you subscribe so that we can keep up to date on all the little things that we try to give you to get you more, help you get more out of your IT. If I could talk properly today, maybe I should slow down. What do you think? Um, so anyways, in today's episode, what I really want to focus on is your Apple ID password. I've done a previous video, which you can get in the show notes, of how to reset an Apple ID password in macOS Ventura. It's very, very simple and it's a very easy process to do. Uh, but a lot of people don't own a Mac. A lot of times people, um, their first introduction into the Apple e uh, ecosystem these days is an iPhone. Uh, you know, back in the day, it used to be an iPod. Jeez, that was like 20 years ago. Um, you know, they don't even make iPods anymore. Uh, so what I really want to focus on is how you can do it on an iPhone, because one of the most common calls or search terms that I get on my website and all that kind of good stuff is, how do I change my Apple ID password? So it's really, really, really easy to do. And so if you're ready to go, let's jump in and let me show you how to change your password on your Apple ID directly from your iPhone. Okay, so we're on a demo phone that I use here in the office. And you can see we're gonna go into our settings in the bottom right hand corner there. Uh, and that's where we're gonna start. And so once we go into our settings, at the very, very top is your Apple ID, iCloud, Media, and Purchases. We're going to go in there, and we're going to go to Password and Security. So now what's awesome is up at the top, the first thing that you see is Change Password. You could also see your two-factor authentication. If you want to change your trusted phone number for two-factor authentication, you can do that here. That's our current office line. You could set up account recovery. So this is kind of a, a nice little spot to know where your security options are for your Apple ID. But we're going to go ahead and do change password. And if you have a passcode turned on your phone, what it's going to ask you is your, your passcode to it. Because in that case, it's going to basically allow you to unlock the phone and change the password. So I'm going to go ahead and type it in. And so now you can see here, all I have to do is put in a new password and verify that password. So that's what I'm going to do. And then, and what's awesome is right now, I love Apple because they've thought about these things, is you cannot actually see what I'm typing. And I'm gonna go ahead and do change. And now I have officially changed my password. And you can see up at the top, it's verifying. It might take it a minute. Let's hope I don't get any errors or I didn't do anything wrong, but usually it's talking to Apple, it's changing that password for you. Okay, enter the passcode one more time. And now my password has officially been changed for my Apple ID. So now let's back up. Let's talk about the fact that maybe you do not have a passcode on your phone. Most people do these days, whether it's Face ID, Touch ID, that still typically, um, that still requires a passcode to go with it, a four digit number or a six digit number. Um, you probably encounter this after an update and you gotta sign in. Uh, to your phone for the first time to reactivate face id all that good stuff but i'm going to go in and i'm actually going to turn the passcode off so you can see what happens if you don't have a passcode turn on on your phone so we are going to go ahead and turn that off now if i come back to our settings and go up to the top i'm going to go back in password and security i'm going to go ahead and do change password but you'll notice a little bit of a different process. It's asking me for two-factor authentication. So we're gonna go ahead and enter that number. And now it says, okay, well, what's your current password and what's the new password that you wanna use? So this is where if you still forgot your password, you could still go this route, but you're gonna to have to click where it says forgot password in blue to change it. So you're still gonna to have to go through the forgot password process, but it at least brings you here. Um, now, if you're just looking to change your password, this would be okay, right? So I can type in the password that I just created. Do, 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 do. Uh, I 
I better make it something I remember. So again, it's going to go through these steps. It's going to verify. I'm just glad I typed the current one incorrectly that I just changed 20 seconds ago. All right, perfect. That's it. Now my password has been changed and you can see the phone is just like, well, wait a minute. What do you want to do? Okay. So now I got to go to settings. I got to re-enter that password that I just changed. And it will require that on all your devices. So keep that in mind. Any device that you had that password on, it's going to require you to sign back in. Okay. And there we go. So changing your password from an iPhone is actually a really, really easy process. Um, if you have Face ID enabled or Touch ID enabled, by default, you're going to have a passcode on the phone. And that's the best way to do it because oftentimes you're changing your password because you forgot the old one, not because you just want to change it. Uh, and that happens a lot. You know, we buy a phone, let's say two years ago from Verizon, AT&T or Apple, you know, you go through the process of setting it up and you type in that password that you have for your Apple ID. And if that's all that you're using it for, you know, your Apple ID is on an iPhone, you probably don't type it in very often and chances are that you're probably going to forget it. So if you have a passcode on your phone, really easy to go through those steps to go ahead and change that password. The one kicker is when you don't have a passcode turned on your phone, it is a little bit different of a process if you forgot your password. You could still go through those same steps, but what you saw was that you're going to have to go through the forgot password link to go ahead and verify some of your details and some of your information so that way you can go ahead and reset that password. Now, this is also a great way for you to change the password if you just want to change it. You know, if you feel like you've had a security breach or it's been compromised in some form or fashion, that, that is still a great way to do it. When you do change your password going through that, one of the things, I didn't go through the process entirely, but one of the things that will pop up and ask you is if you want to sign out of all your devices. So if you're changing your password because you think it was a, uh, <coughs> pardon me, uh, if you think that your account was compromised and you go through the passcode process, one of the questions it'll ask once you change that password is like, hey, do you want to sign out of other devices? Um, and so, and I do believe it comes up in red. So if you click on that button, it is actually going to sign out of all the devices that that Apple ID was signed into, and it's going to require the uh, password to be entered again. Now, if you know that your all your devices are trusted and there's no fraudulent activity, you can just ignore that and stay signed into all your devices, and so that way you don't have to go re-enter your you know, your password into multiple Apple devices at that point. Um, you know, so if you have any questions on that process, throw them in the comments and I'll answer if it comes up when you try to do that. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you see how easy it is and how Apple makes it easy for you to change your password uh, because it is probably one of the most common troubleshooting items that we run across, uh, you know, because passwords are everything these days, right? So let's hope that we continue to uh, get those face ID and touch ID options on websites and all that good stuff so we don't have to remember our passwords anymore. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and we will see you again next week. Have a good one.